Hi folks, Tim here from uh, High End Cheap Tech. And as usual, we're shooting lately on the Mi A2, only because I still don't trust the SD card to just fail me over in the Mi A3. Um, and I'll be damned, I just got a text message somewhere on something. Mm. Who dared send me a text? Oh, oh, that's neither here nor there. Um, so we're shooting this at 1080-30. Took me all day to get around to shooting this. I was very tired. Let's get to the intro and I'll go over everything for you. And uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. <laughs> Hi folks, good news for the channel here. This is going to be the very first video I shoot at, you know, 1080 30, and I can upload it right away after I edit it from home. Yes, the cable company got off their dead butts, and guess what? I now have. Wi-Fi using my router and my modem. And we got hooked up. These guys came in. They did their job. They were quick. And the one guy insisted on shaking my hand. I was like, you're not even supposed to come inside the house. He's like, oh, the hell is that? And I was like, well, that's okay. I washed my hands like five times before you guys ever got here. And I think the skin's going to come off my hands from all this... Uh, COVID-19 paranoia, but the bottom line, after only four months and a week and a half, I finally have Wi-Fi, which means I spent most of the day, because I, I, I couldn't sleep last night. I set like three alarms and laid down and said, I'm good, and... Guess what? Nothing. I couldn't get to sleep. You know, maybe for an hour here and a half hour there. I'm like, oh crap. And I finally got up at like 6 a.m. waiting and waiting and waiting. And they showed up at 10 a.m. Well, within the 8 a.m. to noon, they promised. They got this thing all hooked up. I was shocked. We didn't run into any more issues, and we got the uh, modem up and running. I got the router up and going, and now I won't even bother to turn the PC off anymore. Uh, I got Wi-Fi 433K per second, or 433 megabytes per second between the Zotac mini PC, and over to the router, which is back over that way. So, we're good. Now, the downsides. And the real downside. Four months to get my cable installed. So I'm going to say it one last time. If you move into a town and your only internet provider is... Uh, media cam? Move. Move immediately. Or call at and or somebody. Even a slower connection is going to get hooked up quicker. And they'll get it right. And you won't have to call. I had to call them through every single step. They'd fix something. And I was like, but you didn't fix the block. Oh, we didn't know. I was like, oh my God. Did the installer tell you? Because I was standing here when he did. I guess. Well, your guy didn't do his job. So they get that fixed. And then I wait like a month. And, you know, I, I call them every day. I was like, what's the progress? Uh, we're working on it. I was like, whoa, you do, guys do know when it comes to business, a promise not kept is also known as a lie. So, uh, 
I had to walk them through. I was like, okay, somebody needs to come out and fix the block. And I, well, we still have to paint the lines for the flags, you know, and flag it so they'll know where to cut. And I'm like, okay, when are you going to do that? Well, we don't do that until mid-April. I was like, oh, horseshit. Why would you wait that long? We, we, don't, we can't, you know, cut it into the ground. I was like, this is Kentucky, folks. I don't know where your horse's asses at, are at. But we had one day that was 22 degrees in the morning. Beyond that, so the, they, the boys from the, uh, you know, once they got painted, I called back and said, oh, so when are the guys who bury the cable coming? Oh, uh, we're not sure, but the order is in. Uh, but it may be several weeks. It wasn't two days. They showed up, private contractors. We got permission from the neighbor. And so we waited because it started rain and rain and rain. And this machine I have weighs as much as a Volkswagen. And so finally one day I look out there and I see this guy, Mike, from, you know, he's the you know, bury the cable guy. And he's like, yeah, well, we're just going to do it today. It's short. We'll just do it with a shovel. I was like, oh, where's we? He's like, oh, he's the one doing it. It's only like 180 feet. <laughs> he knew this with a spade. And then cover it back up. Bone and liver, no difference. I'm like, okay. And they were done in like 20 minutes. So then I call. I'm like, so when can I get an appointment? And they pushed me back to August 9th because I happened to mention I had had a, a small fever. And I was like, and I'd like to point out, I went and got the flu test and I was clean and clear on that. And then they told me, if I still felt bad the next day or my symptoms got worse, you know, shortness of breath, all stuff I get all the time, already having congestive heart failure. Uh, I'm like, all right. And the next day I woke up and I felt fine. So I still called and said I want the damn test. They still don't feel good. And I went in there wearing a bunch of coats going, oh, I'm short of breath. Yeah. So they ran the test, and they called me a couple of days later, and they went, you're clean. But I looked like a pretty smart cookie for taking a day or a week off at work. And I'm still waiting. You know, we've been declared non-essential for some money. So read the description below. There's a place to donate. Tim would like to be able to go out and buy bread and stuff. And when the stimulus check gets here, I will be getting that Huawei phone. And uh, so we're finally good to go. But I'm still pissed as crap at Mediacom. If you have any other way to get internet, use them. It might be slower, but it'll get installed and work. And uh, that's about all I have except to say, read the description below for all the cool links like the Impulse Selfie Stick we're using. And it comes with this cool remote. And you can't beat it with a stick and the little fill light and all that good stuff. And uh, it works. And... You'll notice I've removed from all the links the Mi A3. But what I will tell you is next video, I don't know if I'll get it done tonight and get it uploaded because of lack of sleep. And that and I spent a whole, whole, I don't know, three or four hours catching up on videos, not caring how big they were. Yeah, I get 400 gigabytes a month versus, you know, AT&T. Well, here's, here's 10 free gigabytes. That was... Mm, we were at 874 gig left on an add-on. I had already gone through the free stuff. And I still have to pay my phone bill. 
without that, we're kind of screwed. Uh, not totally. I mean, the Wi Fi will work. And right now I'm just sitting in the house using the Wi Fi. And I'm loving it. And also make sure you like, share, subscribe, and by all means, leave some feedback. And then maybe poke through the rest of that description and click on that donate button. We'll take a dollar. You don't have to send us 20 bucks or 100. A dollar. I will be in your debt forever. <sighs> and I'll order more crap if there's anything left over of that money. I doubt it. I still have to pay my Prime membership, my tube buddy. And I got just enough in here to pay that because I finally got my refund from the electric company when I moved out. Um, you don't need to hear this. Like, share, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Leave feedback. Share the article uh, and our video. And stay tuned because Xiaomi put Android 10 onto Mi 3 today. Did it fix all the issues? Well, I don't think it'll ever fix the SD card issues. <laughs> Just there's no software update for. Hi, oh, we used the. Uh, you know, a defective card reader. Uh, but I'm okay with that. I can shoot videos, and I'll just have to take my chances. I mean, twice I've had it just suddenly kind of slow down, or apps didn't work, and then all of a sudden it just went as if there was no SD card. And every time I turn it on still, yeah, it says, SD card missing. Really? And then when it finally boots up, there sits the SD card. 64 gig is all I'm testing it with. And I've tried it with a 128. I tried it with a Samsung Evo 32 uh, gigabyte. I tried like several different brands, it ain't the brand. And I have never seen a phone. Well, we'll get to that in the next video. So uh, for now, thanks for watching this one. And this is kind of like the lead off, you know, to the baseball season, as it were. Now I can edit. And upload from right where I'm sitting. Finally. And not worry about that. Check in the next one. Maybe tonight. Maybe late tonight and you can see it in the morning. So have a great one. God, I love the MPAL remote. Here we go. We are out of here. Check those uh, videos linked in the uh, outro page. Something might interest you. Look through the whole site. Have a great day.